Hey there, fellows. We are doing really well, and hopefully you guys are too. So summertime is upon us. It's nice and dry outside, and there's plenty of dust. You've got a ton of dirt flying around, and we'll be seeing poplar fluff really soon. When you've got a carbureted car, all of that stuff gets into the carburetor, where it clogs all of the jets. On a fuel-injected car, that stuff would find its way onto the throttle body and the idle control valve. The air filter, of course, eats it up, meaning you've got less air supply. The engine doesn't run as well, fuel consumption goes up, it starts rough. And all of that sucks. Anyway, we're curious to see at what sort of rate an engine is going to suck up dust when driving down a really dusty road. Now, the idea is to find some kind of container, insert a couple of hoses. One of them hoses is going to be sucking outside air. That'll go through water, which will purify the air going into the motor, leaving all of the dust in the water. That should give us a good idea of how fast dust accumulates when driving down a dusty road. Right, fellas, as we like to say around here, enough talk. Let's do this. So have I got some good news for you fellows. Some cool new merch available on our website. Like for example these sweet signature hoodies. And the good news doesn't end there. The first 25 people to order these hoodies, we'll be offering them a 25% discount. And don't forget that there's a bunch of other stuff that you can order on our website. T-shirts, baseball caps, mugs document holders, and we're offering some generous discounts on the entire lineup. And on top of any order you make, we'll throw in one of these stickers on the house. Don't miss your chance to get some merch at discount prices. Hit the link in the video description and grab yourself something. Water intake air purification. Your motor will thank you. Translation and voiceover by BMI Russian. Okay, fellas, we've made it out onto a field. And now look here. We brought a couple of new air filters with us. So the plan is to first install one of them and drive around without that water purification system. Just to see how fast it gets all clogged up with dust. Because you see, here's the thing. We've got plenty of dust to go around in this field. Okay, so now we install the filter. Again, the water purifier isn't hooked up yet. We've routed a couple of tubes in here, one of which is going straight into the air cleaner, the other via the purifier. Now we've decided not to remove this white fabric to help us see everything better. Alright, let's seal it and set off. Back and forth. And we see what's up. Oh, this is superb! And after that short drive, let's see where we're at. How's the air filter doing? Wow, well, the engine bay is predictably dusty. And there is a ton of it in here. Okay, now we open it and have a look. Oh man, it is hot. Which is no surprise given this hot weather. The engine generates a ton of heat. And just look at what happens after three kilometers. It's a far cry from what it used to look like. I can even do this and... Uh, that's all the dust that we just collected. I mean, we only made it to the forest. Yeah, let's compare them. Here's your before and after. Now, I take it there are no more questions left as to this being the natural consequence of driving down a dusty road, especially when you're following somebody. Now I suggest we dust the engine off, install a fresh filter, after that we block off the direct tube, because as you can see right now air is going straight into the air cleaner. 
We've got all of the tubes set up here, it's all good. And now we just need to direct the air through the water purifier. That bong of ours. Okay, so look here. We've decided to seal the edge of the air cleaner with some putty. It's a lot of man. The cover doesn't form a tight seal. Then again, even with the sticky, it's not gonna get up to the full 107%. So a bit of air will be making it through the gaps, but not nearly as much as when we had the direct feed tube set up. Okay, let's get this thing up and running, and go drive. So as you can hear and see, the engine is currently turning at idle. And already we are looking pretty good. We've sealed the air cleaner with a bit of putty, and things are going tremendously well. Okay, not bad. It works. It is picking up some water, but I'll do my best to feather the gas pedal. Wouldn't want the engine to take in water now, would we? All right, let's go. You can see that the water is nice and clean. We're doing well. Hopefully the distance we traveled the first time around will suffice. The amount of dust that air filter was covered in, man. I mean the one that took in air directly. I mean, you saw how dirty it was. Okay, thank goodness we made it. It's all good. Oh, it is covered in so much dust. It happens sometimes with Russian cars. Okay, now let's have a look. You see what the outside of the car looks like. It's covered in a thick-ass layer of dust. Where do we begin? Do we extract the filter or the water bottle? Let's start with the filter. Curious to see what it looks like. Let's crack it open. <laughs> They're glued together. We need a screwdriver. Here it's all good, as you can see. We routed both tubes through the headlight. The straight and the water pipe. And immediately we see where we had leakage. Oh, there's a hole down there, that explains it. See that hole in the air cleaner box? It seems to have sucked a bit of dust through there. Otherwise it seems to be clean. Splendid. Looks like we had a leak here too. We missed that tiny hole. So I take it this is how it was placed. It pulled in quite a bit. But only through one spot. The rest is nice and clean. So this one was working with the water purifier. This one without. And the difference is quite impressive. Now let's see what the water purifier looks like. Let's go check and see what condition the water is in. The results are pretty clear, look at that. It used to be fresh drinking water. And now we've even got some flies in there. Look at that. Maybe there's a tick in there somewhere? I guess it would be interesting to find out. So there's your result. There's a pretty good life hack for you. You can go ahead and try making your own water filter from a wet vacuum. The point is that it works 107%. See how dirty this got? Always look after your cars, fellows. That pertains not just to brakes and suspension and all of that other stuff. The air filtration system is also a very important thing. The fuel system, too. And that's all I have for you, fellows. You saw all of it for yourselves. Also, check out this sweet white t-shirt I'm wearing. You'll find links in the video description. And that's all I got for you. Watch us, subscribe, suggestions, comments, give us a big thumbs up. Alright, catch you later.